Micron signaling tough times remain ahead, even though they had pre-announced before, due to elevated inventory level uh, and then a lot of other things, frankly, including weak consumer demand. Joining us now on a CNBC exclusive is Micron President and CEO Sanjay Marotra. Sanjay, thank you for coming on the show. Is this the worst it's ever been? Well, uh, Jim, thank you for being on your show. You know, certainly these are unprecedented times, you know, driven by unprecedented confluence of exogenous events related to China lockdowns, um, Russia-Ukraine war, uh, all of this impacting consumer as well as the supply chains, and then uh, certainly high inflation impacting consumer spending and the macroeconomic uncertainty uh, impacting the buying patterns of customers as well. And in addition, there have been, due to the strong surge in demand during the pandemic, large amounts of inventory that have been built up across our end markets, across all our end markets at customers. And customers are now, given the macroeconomic uncertainty, going through inventory adjustments. And this is what has brought steep drop in demand for us. And we are, of course, reacting. We are reacting fast with making adjustments in our supply to bring demand and supply in balance. And of course, our financial outlook has also been impacted by aggressive pricing decline as well. So we are taking actions in order to bring supply and demand in balance. And what we see, what we currently model, is that second half of our fiscal year is when we start to see that demand will begin to ramp up because inventory adjustments, we believe, would result in significantly improved inventory at our customers by the timing of our second half, fiscal 23. Okay, and people should know that the fourth, this was the fourth quarter of uh, your fiscal 2022. Okay, in your uh, COPS call, you talk about massive buying of your common stock. Uh, you bought 34.5 million shares for $2.43 billion in the last fiscal year. Uh, now you have $1.5 billion at perhaps negative free cash flow. Why did you buy all that stock when you now have negative free cash flow? Well, Jim, we are committed to returning our free cash flow uh, in terms of share purchases. And if you look at our share purchases in fiscal 22, yes, we did buy at record levels $2.9 billion of share repurchases during the year. And, you know, we are buying at levels that are below, you know, the, the highs when you compare with the highs during the year. So long term, I think what you have to focus on is the long term. Beyond this challenging environment of fiscal 23, the demand for memory and storage will continue to increase driven by applications such as AI, 5G, electric vehicles, autonomous. All of this will drive semiconductor memory to go fa industry to grow faster through the decade than the semiconductor industry broadly in general. So this, we do believe that our, um, we remain committed to putting our free cash flow towards share purchases. We'll be prudent, we will be opportunistic, and in the long run, we do believe that these will provide a healthy return for our shareholders.